Okay, so I spent the afternoon doing some more research about the abortion issue, and this video is about Miss Magazine. I had already done some research about Norma McCorvey. Again, watching her videos, watching how some people thought she was paid to become a Christian, and a lot of the people who know her said that, you know, she really truly did become a born again Christian. She came out of drug use, um, ripping people off, um, the gay lifestyle, etc., etc. And when you do become a Christian, God, not right away, but slowly delivers you from all that kind of um, outward sinful desires and stuff. So she wanted to live now for God. She wanted to live a holy life. And that is her story, although others have said she retracted it. But as I started researching Miss Magazine, um, I also came across, the fir for the first time, uh, Beckett Cook, which I have not seen any of his videos before. And he was also talking about Miss Magazine. So not to take his stuff at all, but just that coincidence that I wanted to learn about Miss Magazine because um, what I was researching was the beginning of this magazine and back in 71 or 72 um, had articles of women aborting their babies and admitting to this and this is before this was like pre Roe v Wade so definitely I think that magazine definitely had an influence in making Roe v Wade law I think that like I was I had Miss Magazine growing up um, along with General Hospital the soap operas, Madonna, all the culture. So when we look at this, um, I think this stuff affects young girls so much. And then, um, you know, as a homeschool mom, I was able to uh, not only live off the grid financially, but also be able to bring my values that I wanted into the home. And, you know, when kids mature later on, as they get older, I think they're more solid as Christians, usually. Um, but definitely we want to grow and we want to become rooted in Christ. And a lot of times the world is pushing us to conform. And it's not that some of this music is, you know, necessarily wrong. Um, but some of it is, and it's not that, you know, having a drink is wrong or, um, certain things, but we definitely want to have values and not be conformed to a worldly standard. And I think, you know, I'll look into Miss Magazine again, but I think as I look into it further, I'm going to be hearing a lot of things that, um, will be surprising to me to see how women viewed abortion back then but I also think that a lot of women are deceived by feminism they think that they are having freedom when the whole economy had a more cheaper labor pool um, I saw someone comment that in one of the videos and I think it's true um, women were paid a lot less years ago and I think it was an easy way to deceive women, to think that they were going to be empowered when they were actually having a bigger workload. Uh, somebody had mentioned that too in a comment, that Gloria Steinman did nothing for her except make her have a bigger workload. So when we actually can stay home and enjoy the um, more softer things in life, the gentler things, I think we really are fortunate. And I know nowadays it can be really difficult for women to stay home. But I think if you can live very minimalist, I think you can afford to stay home. And if you want to work, um, definitely work. I mean, as long as most of the responsibilities of having children, um, you have done the bulk of that work staying home if need be. I mean, for example, having, you know, three kids and putting in them all in daycare would not make sense just because daycare is so expensive. But how you do it and when you have time later on, usually 
you are even a better worker because you have so much experience and you don't have to worry about those beginning years of your life being wasted on work and losing that opportunity to have family and children. So yeah, Miss Magazine, definitely um, very feminist magazine. And actually these magazines are kind of outdated now. They're not, you know, magazines are not really as popular as they used to be. And Miss Magazine is not even, I think it's what, quarterly now? It's not even that popular. So um, I think they've kind of died out too with the trans woman stuff. So they are definitely not um, what they used to be. They used to be an example they wanted to be for women. They don't have as loud of a voice now, which is really good. And we want, you know, better examples in our culture for women. I really like Abby Johnson um, and some other women in the pro-life movement to really help girls to stay away from abortions.